Hey there, in this video we are going to learn about something that sounds boring, it's called source clip effects, but it can do pretty astonishing amazing things. I have got to a point in this edit here where I've cut this particular clip up a bunch of times in between other shots, okay, and somebody said, actually can you go back and adjust this one? You're like, sure, I can adjust this shot. Okay, but I've used it so many times across actually a couple of different uh, sequences. Uh, I'm gonna have to copy and paste the effects onto all the different ones. Actually, there's a trick. I can go to my master clip effects, dump something random on here, for example, <laughs> and watch, it updates every use case of it. Okay, so it's like updating the parent. That's why it's called the source effects. Let me show you how to update that source. All right, first things first is you don't have this kind of like sequence all cut up for you. This is just a for instance I quickly threw together and you'll see why. You can apply it to any clip anywhere. I'm just giving you a good for instance because let's say we've got to a job and we've got like our interview. Okay, we've got different shots. Okay, we've got a close up, we've got a mid shot. Okay, and it kind of cycles between these two and we've done a lot of work to them. Okay, and it comes back and we're like, actually, can you change this thing? And let's say that, for instance, this clip needs to be, I don't know, I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna exaggerate. It needs to be less exposed, okay? <laughs> okay, so I've done that, but then I'm gonna have to copy and paste it onto this one. Okay, so you can select it, go to edit, copy effects. You've probably done this a million times and it's a pain. Edit, paste attributes, no, no, no. No, 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 I just want the Illumitri effects to come across, and then it's the same. And if you've done that 100 times, or 10 times, whatever it is, it's a big pain. Okay, so I'm gonna undo that. Go back to this one, so they're back to normal now. So the way to get around that is to do it to the original. It's called the source, what used to be called the master. Think of it as the parent, giving it all sorts of names. So you can update that original parent, or the source file, or the master file, whatever you want to call it, and it will spill through all your edits. I've done it for both this sequence, plus I've got another sequence in here that's a shorter version, it's got like more of a commercial cut down, short feel, but it's using that same interview. So I'd like it to both not just do it for this first clip, not just this first sequence, but all the sequences. Really good if you're doing maybe social media, and you've got lots of them across all sorts of different sequences. Just go and show us, Dan, quit hyping it up. Well, what you do is, if I've got the clip selected, I'm working on the child, okay, or the instance of that original. Okay, to open up the original original, you can kind of see it up here. You see, I've got it selected. What's this thing? I'm in my effects controls, by the way. If you can't see it, go to Window, Effects Controls. And you've always got this thing, and you might have accidentally stumbled it in here and eventually found your way out. So basically, this is the instance, this is the original. There's nothing in here, it doesn't look very fancy. But what I can do is if I'm clicked onto this tab and then make adjustments, let's do something crazy again. Let's go um, over menu enter. Can you see there it applied? And it applied like we thought it might, okay? The difference is because it's on the master and not just here, watch what happens. So back to that other shot, but then see, I've reused that clip a couple of times. Let's go to the other sequence. Oh, it's all in here too. Cool, huh? It comes with a few caveats. There is a problem if I'm later on working on it or you send it off to somebody else that isn't as awesome at Premiere Pro as you are, okay? Uh, you can be in here clicking on this one and you're like, oh great, I'm gonna get rid of the purple. And you're looking over here for your Lumetri effects. Where the hang is it? It's not there. It's on the master. And how do you know it's on the master? Mostly you need to like magically know. Okay, there is a little, can you see there's a little F under the effects? Okay, remember how it changed color before? It didn't, get a little red line underneath it. That's all they give you. That's a, hey, there is a master, well, they call them source effects now. Up until recently, Premiere Pro called them master effects. So you will find tutorials online talking about the master clip effects. It's now called the source clip effects. Exactly the same thing. A lot of the people will call them child and parent. This is the parent, and here, nope, that is the child, this is the parent. Okay, and only that little red line there kind of indicates that it's there. So that is it. You can apply it to the uh, source file and it will spill through all your use cases. Really handy if you've already used it all in the timeline. You can apply multiple effects and that brings me to my next point which is how do you apply them? Like Lumetri is easy because you had that kind of tab selected and you started dragging. So the way to do it is one of two ways. Have this tab selected and let's say I want to apply effect. Okay, and why you want to apply some random effect. Okay, you want to apply, I don't know, some sort of, we're gonna use lighting effects. Okay, you can drag it in here. 
and it applies. Okay, let's say that we don't wanna do it that way. Okay, you can add it to the actual source monitor. So our source monitor is kind of tied up up here. There it is there. So if I add this to the source rather than to the program or down here, watch what happens. Okay, it adds to this, okay, my source. It spills over onto my, uh, you, where I've used it in the sequence. Okay, but if I go to my fixed controls, you can see that's the one you normally end up at. There's nothing there, but my source used to be known as master has all of these things applied. All right, that is source clip effects. All right, I'll see you in the next video.